There comes a time in every life when quit looks good. There comes a time in every job, in every marriage when quit looks good. When problems seem insurmountable, when the giants seem unbeatable, when the mountains seem unmovable, when defeat seems absolutely inescapable, and retreat seems like your only logical option. I want you to remember, it is always too soon to quit. Say that with me. It is always too soon to quit. Christopher Marley said, and I quote, someone who is a big shot is only a little shot who kept on shooting. Persistence is a fire in your bones that will carry you through ridicule, that will carry you through rejection and reversal. Persistence does not need public approval. Persistence does not need a slap on the back. Persistence could care less about being politically correct. Persistence says, in faith, mountain, get out of my way. Persistence says, nothing is impossible to those that believe. Persistence says, if God be for you, who can be against you? Persistence Persistence says the victory is ours through Christ the Lord. Persistence says faith is the victory that overcomes the world. Persistence says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Persistence looks at 10,000 coming against you from every direction as King David and says, though a host should encamp against me, let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. You're looking at the winner here. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Give him praise and glory in the house. Quit living life looking in the rearview mirror. Quit looking at the mistakes of yesterday and say it prohibits me from being all I can be today. Every page in this book says press on, endure, fight back, win, for greater is he that is within you than he that's within the world. Fight back. You're a child of God. The royal blood of heaven is flowing in your veins. God does not sponsor flops and he does not manufacture junk. You are a child of the Most High God. You're going to stand in the winner's circle. You're not going to be the victim. You're going to be the victor because Christ is Lord over your situation. Only believe all things are possible for you. Never give up. Never, 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 never give up. Stay at it. If you reach the end of your rope, tie a knot in it and hang on. If you get whipped, go home and lick your wounds and come out the next day and fight to win again. This book says nothing is impossible to you. If you believe that, that one verse will transform your mind and your life. This book says greater is he, meaning the Holy Spirit that is in you, than he that is within the world. This book says if God be for us, who can be against us? This book says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This book says let us not be weary in well doing for in due season we shall reap if we faint not that means press on that means endure that means God cannot fail and you're not going to give up that's not an option for a child of God this means you are going to be the winner listen to this and write it down if you can't remember it you're never going to outgrow warfare you simply must learn to fight I hear people saying to me all the time, oh, when is it going to get easier? When you die. Warfare is a normal New Testament Christian posture. Get used to it.